out but if you do ever come to Vienna make sure to come and check out I'll leave the name here uh, of the church uh, really peaceful just to submit your thoughts that's the wall right there inches away the church um, didn't want to record anything inside out of just due to respect I uh, didn't want to like capture the energies because it's so pure in there that's how it feels uh, but if you do ever come to Vienna make sure to come and check out I'll leave the name here uh, of the church uh, really peaceful just to separate your thoughts good energies and yeah one of the places to come and check out in the center there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of, it's quite busy foot traffic. If you want some quiet time, uh, I think that church is a, it's an excellent place just to go and uh, decompress, just sit quietly, all the hustle and bustle around here. Over here at the back, you can see all the high end stores, Louis Vuitton, Bad Burberry over there, the gallery. Chanel over there, uh, past Hermes, that little building over there. So if you're in, uh, in the market for some high-end fashion, high-end products, you've got enough, you've got enough choices. You're over there. Very fashionable environment. All high-end brands if you need it. You'll find it in this in this square over here. That's very pretty, very, very pretty. Very well maintained as well, I must say. I guess 
just gives you perspective on on the world. You come and see places like this. There's a lot of history that you can feel in the air as well. I think they pride themselves also on preserving you know, their, their way of life. Healthy living, life, work life, you work life, you work just want to take it, you take it easy over here. I think they work just as hard, but they also enjoy their space. Can you feel good energies? Yes, that's that's what it's important when you come to visit places. It's just to feel comfortable where you are. And I think Vienna is one of those places. Austria, I think, is well, for me. It's always been my top five countries to all time. I've always said that and I think <laughs> visiting Vienna now again is just cementing that that status. Most of these buildings are all museum. You wouldn't say right. <laughs> they look too pretty to be museums all well. museums supposed to be showing you the history, culture, what was, and he's still preserved over there. I think that's the Natural History Museum. Yes, that is correct. It's the Natural History Museum. Maria Teresa. what that museum is but let's see if you can, see if you can tell ah both are history museums Berlin? Hey, klar kann ich Berlin. 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 He's going to Berlin. Awesome! Next stop, Berlin. Morning, guys. Second leg of our European tour. We're in Berlin. We're staying at the Grand Western. If you guys want to come in. If you're looking for accommodation, excellent hotel. Uh, today we're just going to be doing the hop on hop off. We've stopped here at number 8 on the, on the tour. Ready to catch the green line, but over there is the Berlin Tower, similar to what we have at the, in Toronto with the CN Tower. Uh, all the information of the of how to get up there in the description below. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's the same height though. I'm not sure. But if you guys need, if you guys want to go up and you're on the on the tour, remember it's uh, stop number eight, and it's also the changeover for the green line, which we'll be getting on now. A three on the green line. Berlin Memorial Hall, which in German is called.
the wall spent over 150 kilometers. We get to learn a lot about this in history and school and stuff, but to actually allow see it in real life, you know, just gives it a little bit more perspective. Gives it a whole lot of meaning to what we learn and what has happened here in the past, you know. To actually know you standing in uh, in history of hum of mankind and the atrocities and the hardships and, and the sacrifices people made to, for a better life. Standing up for what was right, I guess. And doing the right thing. I guess we have to keep a little bit of history to remind us of what not to do in the future and present and just make sure that we you know, preserve mankind and just be fair to everybody that you know lives on this planet and I hope we get to do that because it's the only way I mean, we don't want to go back to the days of world war and the days of famine and the days of hunger. As human race, we just want to make sure that we have abundance and just en enjoy life. At least that's what it's about for me. Let me know what you think. That's the wall right there. Inches away. These are pieces of the actual wall that were broken down. history right in front of you.
which is the, the museums, the five museum, four, five museums. This is your, this is your thing that Berlin's museum scene is definitely for you. Greek, Roman, Egyptian. And the price for all of it. How much is the price? $23 each now. I mean euros each. Yeah. For all five, you can get them. Get entrance tickets to all five of them for about 23 euros per person, which is not bad. 24 euros per person, which is not bad. Sorry for that. It's definitely worth it. A lot of history, a lot of, a lot of culture, a lot of what we understand in life is in these museums. So, definitely check it out. Thank you.